Hey guys, so today I'll be teaching the matrix spec tech. Okay, so I'm not going to do a particular setup. Uh, now I'm just going to look at the basic details on how to do a matrix. And then in the end of the video, I'm going to show some uh, examples of how to enter into the matrix. So uh, in this case, we're going to look at the high version matrix. So if the person is squatted or lower, it becomes a bit different. There's a lot of similarities, but you have to handle it a bit differently. But in, in this case, we're going to look at when the person is standing tall. So first off, <clears throat> I'm always putting my knee on the inside, okay? So I don't want to be outside like this. I want to have my knee on the inside and then hook my foot like this. So you can just grab the leg like this, but you have less control of his leg. So I wouldn't recommend doing this if you don't have to. What you should do is to underhook. The reason why I like to underhook is I can rotate the knee and that's a lot of the battle in the matrix. You want to have the knee rotated. If his knee is too much open, it becomes very difficult to get enough of an angle and get the matrix spec tick. So having an underhook helps rotating his knee. Also, it makes it easier for you to lift yourself when you have the underhook. Therefore, I recommend doing that. So with this leg, I'm not throwing it too far like this. My goal is to put my heel behind his knee. Because if I have my heel behind his knee, I have some control of his knee placement. Okay, it's harder for him to open his knee now. If I'm like this, it's easier for him to open and create resistance. So look, I'm putting my heel behind his knee and then I'm not flaring my foot like this. If I'm flaring too much and he is able to put some pressure, I can potentially injure my knee. So what I want to do is to use my heel towards him. So even if he puts pressure, it doesn't go on my knee. One thing to notice is my foot placement, because there's different ways to place this foot, but I would recommend to place it on the hip. And the reason why is I'm able to control distance with this. So if, you tr if Eric tries to put pressure, you see I can control distance. If I'm, for example, staying like this, he can put pressure and then potentially injure my knee and he can start to like pass my guard or take my back. So I would recommend to have your foot on this side, okay? And now if he puts pressure, I'm controlling distance like this. And also it gives me a very good bite on the person. I'm gluing myself to him so he can't just run away or escape. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not just gonna throw my leg in like this. I want to elevate my hip and then get a good angle. Because the more angle I have, the easier it is to get the back take. If I don't have a good angle, it's quite easier for him to defend. So what I want, I want to create momentum by using my leg and pulling with my arm. But I don't want to like overdo it like this and so he can see what's coming or uh, take too much time. I'm just doing a quick motion and then I'm pulling myself tight to him while elevating my hip up in the air like this. From here, I'm reaching the pant grip. Now, as I've gotten the pant grip, what I'm gonna do is to just switch my knee from the inside to the outside like this. Now I can let go of the underhook, slide, pull him, go to the baby bolo position, and now kick out, and then get the back take. One thing I want to mention though, as I said, try to have your foot on the near side of the hip, but if he were to start creating a bit of an angle, like the other way, what I sometimes do, I will switch my foot to the other side, just to be able to like get a lift like this. But what's important to notice, I'm not maintaining this position for long, because if I'm staying here for too long, it's gonna push it down like this. So if I'm doing that, I'm just gonna do it quickly. Put my foot and then jump behind, get distance, and now I can get my knee on the inside. And also, another thing to notice, when I'm putting my foot to the other leg, I'm not going down close to his knee. Because if I'm close to the knee, he can just push down my leg. So what I want is to have my foot higher up, so it's harder for him to push it down. And from here, you extend your legs, get your knee behind, slide, pull, baby bolo, and then you kick out and you take the back.
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be uploading a lot of content in the future. And also, if you want to learn more about the matrix system and then a bunch of entries into the matrix position, check out my matrix instructional on my website, smathiesen.com.